Welcome back to another video. For this project, I will be showing you how I made my own Bluetooth speaker from scratch. Let's get started by having a look at the schematic. This is the schematic for my Bluetooth board. It can be broken down into three parts. I'm not going to explain the functionality of every component because that'll result in a long video and I don't want that. On the far left, we have part one, which is just the IC that charges lithium ion battery. This is based on the TP4056, a very common battery charging IC. We have two pads for five volts input, two pads for the battery, and an S pad up here. Now I used pads for literally every connection to the board to make it as modular as possible to fit in any, con any enclosure I wish to use. Um, up here we have an S pad and an S pad on this side which brings us to the second portion of the circuit. So the S pad and the S pad are acting as a pair of pads for a power switch. So you can add a power switch right here and once this is closed together it'll take the battery level voltage run it through the MT3608, which is responsible for boosting the battery level voltage to 5 volts, and also running that 5 volts through a linear regulator to output a 3.3 volts. Which brings us to our final portion of the circuit. The 5 volts goes to the PAM8403 IC, which is the audio amp, and the 3 volts goes to the XS3868 Bluetooth module. We don't really need the 3 volt regulator for the XS3868 because it can actually run on um, just standard voltage levels from a battery, but I don't like the idea of using a changing voltage for something I haven't really worked with a whole lot, so I just threw in the linear voltage regulator, but it, if you don't want it, you can just run the battery level voltage from here straight into it without having this, which will save a little bit of board space and a very small amount of money. Uh, so this is the XS3868 Bluetooth module. We have our button pads right here, nothing too much going on in the circuit. On the bottom we have a transmit, a receive, and a TTL ground pads for programming this. Um, in my board I didn't have the TTL ground pad, but I threw it in there after I programmed mine, so that way it will be easier to program in the future, and a lot easier for someone else's program. We have our ground for the audio, the right and the left outputs for our audio, going into the PAM8403 IC up here, which is just a 3 watt by 3 watt IC. Our speaker pads right there. And this is a status LED for when the Bluetooth module gets power, so it'll actually act as a power LED for the overall circuit. And up top we have two LEDs for charge and when it's finished charging. So we, we have a total of three LEDs in this, which will give us an idea of it charging, fully charged, and being used. So that is the circuit explained pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the board. Now this is the board I came up with. Up here we have the TTL ground pad, which the board I sent out for it doesn't have. Our receive and transmit to program the XS3868. All of our button pads, which will close to one common pad. The audio amp I see down here and all of its components, our speaker hookups. The voltage regulation and boost right here. I threw in test points for the voltage just to have uh, for troubleshooting if it's necessary the on-off pads for the voltage boost, and the lithium-ion charger up here, two battery tabs, and five volt pads, and that is pretty much it. You can get rid of these ground, uh, these mounting holes if you want. I just threw them in there because um, I have an idea for my application. You can add more mounting holes if you wish as well. So let's go ahead and send this board out to be fabricated and assemble it.
I decided to use this project box to house everything. As you can see, I already mounted the buttons and two standoffs for the PCB. I'm gluing a wireless charger in place to charge the batteries wirelessly. After screwing the PCB in place, I'm going to solder the wireless charger connections as well as the buttons, batteries, and power switch. After all the connections are soldered, let's place the box on a wireless pad and see if it fully charges. I'll be using this USB TTL device to program the module. I'll do this by soldering wires to the RX and TX pads as well as grounding the device to the board to interface with the TTL device. So I am using a USB TCL to program my XS3868. Uh, this is the software I'm using. I'll include a link in the description below to where I found the software, which was from an Instructable user whose name I'm blanking on, uh, but all credit where credit is due. Um, his Instructable also has a lot of information on the XS3868, so I recommend reading that if you want to learn more about this module. You can find the software in a few places, but I found his to be the most reliable, and after you download it, or not his, but where he found it to be the most reliable, uh, but when you download it, you're met with all this. So if you open up the programmer, we are met with this little window, which has a not connected. Now, hopefully you can hear my Bluetooth module turning on, and we are met with a connected right away. You don't have to have a fully assembled board to program this. You could use the voltages provided from your programmer instead of what I'm doing, which is just using the battery level voltage. So this is currently connected. So if we scroll all the way down to line 400, which is where we have our name and pin. Uh, you can see it's a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but if we hit read all, it'll read the contents on ours. Now I want to change my pin. I'll change it to 3868. This is just a pin that you'll have to connect to when you connect it to a new device. You don't have to have a pin, but I, I'm just going to add mine for fun. Hit enter. That's up there. I'm going to change my name to a lowercase solder king. Hit enter, and it's that. So if we hit write all, it's now programming the Bluetooth module. It's done. Hit read all. It is still there, and we can just go ahead and disconnect. There's a lot of information with all this stuff you can find online. I recommend looking into it if you want, uh, but that's as much as I'm going to show you just to keep it simple. So we'll hit quit. Now let's test out this Bluetooth module. This is a heads up that the next clip showing the speaker in action will be a little loud. I actually had to edit down the sound in the video because it was still too loud.
that this project is finished, I do want to say that I will be designing a second Bluetooth amp still revolving around the XS3868, but with a more powerful amplifier. The PAM8403 is a decent audio amp, but it gets a bit skippy once you max the volume input. If we lower the volume, it's still pretty loud and enjoyable. I would consider this project a success and a stepping stone to the next version. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.